Good day, Facebook friends! This is Izel Makalintal, your Gospel Sharer for today. Let us reflect on our Gospel for today, Luke chapter 19, verses 45 to 48. We focus on so many different things, both material and non-material, in the house of God nowadays, that we forget it was meant to be beautiful and a refuge of joy and peace. This gospel clearly demonstrated how individuals began to forget about serving in the house of prayer and redirected their attention to other matters. The den of thieves was plainly shown to be God's house of prayer, and the thieves themselves are the robbery of the spirits that we serve. It might be idolatry, commercial transactions, or even a desire for power and evil. Let us consider these questions. What is the church mission? What is the primary reason for our existence? If you characterize our church as a place where preaching, teaching, and meetings take place, I'd agree that they are all wonderful things, but are, are they really the, its primary reason for its existence? What is it exactly? May we consider our church as a place where people may connect with God and with one another, as well as find hope and encouragement from others in their efforts to live a God-honoring life. Jesus' temple would be incomplete without his listeners. No one, not even high priests or government officials, are permitted to disrespect his temple. As God's followers, it is our responsibility to make his temple an ideal place to, to learn and reflect on his teachings. We could only do so if we improved our own temple, our spirituality, and our commitment to God. We have come together to create one vision, mission, and attitude. To serve not just God, but also the poor and vulnerable. So that's all for my reflection and don't forget to subscribe at Facebook PH YouTube channel, download the Facebook app via Google Play Store or App Store, or visit and register at www.facebook.ph.